Test cases for e-commerce website Test cases for e-commerce website Login functionality Test cases to verify login functionality with valid email id and valid password To verify login functionality with valid email id and invalid password to verify login functionality with invalid email id and valid password. To verify login functionality with invalid email id and invalid password. To verify login functionality with blank email id and valid password. To verify login functionality with a valid email id and a blank password. To verify login functionality with a blank email id and a blank password. To verify login functionality with a valid phone number and valid password. To verify login functionality with valid phone numbers and invalid passwords. To verify login functionality with invalid phone number and valid password. To verify login functionality with invalid phone numbers and invalid passwords. To verify login functionality with blank phone number and valid password. To verify the length of the email id and password field. To verify that the error message displays when any field is left blank. To verify tab key functionality on the login page. To verify the alignment of each field of the login page. To verify that each mandatory field has an asterisk for validation. To verify that each field has a proper placeholder. To verify that entered multiple times incorrect password. To verify that show the password I icon on the password text field. To verify that welcome message after successful login. To verify that forgot email functionality. To verify that create account functionality. To verify that next button with multiple times click events to verify that forgot password functionality. To verify if the password text format is encrypted or not. To verify that back button functionality after logging out. To verify that message for entered invalid inputs. To verify that sign in button with click and enter key events. Home page functionality test cases to verify the home page should be displayed after a successful login or not. To verify that the username is displayed on the home page or not. To verify that the home page is in different browsers. To verify that the products are displayed on the home page or not. To verify that the search functionality is available on the home page or not. To verify that products on the home page are clickable or not. To verify that the alignment on the home page. To verify that the products are displayed as categorized on the home page or not. To verify that user profile is available on the home page or not. Search functionality, test cases, to verify that search box is available or not. To verify that the length of the search query is as per specification. To verify that the search result is displayed as per the search query. To verify that the user should be able to search products as per the name, brand name, and brand specification or not. To verify that the search button is working properly or not. To verify that the search text field with alphabets, numbers, and symbols. To verify that the sorting option should be available on a search page or not. To verify that the numbers of search results displayed a page. Product detail page, test cases. To verify that the images of products are displayed on the page correctly or not. To verify that the price of the product should be displayed. To verify that the product specification should display. To verify that the product reviews are displayed or not. To verify that product status for in stock out of stock is displayed or not. To verify that the shipping information about the product is displayed or not. To verify that the payment option should be displayed on the product detail page. To verify that the related products are displayed or not. Card functionality. Test cases to verify that the Add to Cart button is clickable or not. To verify after clicking Add to Cart button, products are moved to cart or not. To verify that the number of items is increased or not. To verify that the user is able to continue shopping after adding items to the cart or not. To verify that the total amount of all the items is displayed or not. To verify that the tax information is displayed or not.
to verify that the user is able to see shipping charges as per location to verify that the maximum numbers of quantity to verify that the products should remove from the cart to verify that the user is able to remove multiple products from the cart to verify that the user is able to apply coupons code or not checkout and payment functionality test cases to verify that the payment options are displayed on the checkout page or not to verify that the product details like product name product quantity product amount are displayed on checkout page or not to verify that the unregistered users are not allowed to access the checkout page to verify that the user's name address city state country Postal code are displayed as the mandatory field on the checkout page for shipping address. To verify that name, street address, city, state, country, postal code is the mandatory field in the checkout page for billing address. To verify that the user is getting an error message or not when the user enters incorrect data in all the mandatory fields on the checkout page. To verify that the back button is working properly or not. To verify that the user should be redirected to the payment page after entering valid data. To verify that the user is able to apply coupons or not. To verify that the order price when the coupon code is applied. To verify that the error message for an invalid coupon code. To verify the name on card, card number, expiry date, and CVV number are mandatory fields on the payment page or not. To verify that the error message is displayed when the user enters incorrect data in all the mandatory fields on the payment page. To verify that the user is redirected to the third party page or not. To verify that the user is able to place an order successfully. To verify that, after placing an order, the total price should be zero. My orders page, test cases, to verify that the order history should be displayed on the my order page or not. To verify that the user is able to change the order or not. To verify that user is able to cancel the order or not. To verify that the user is able to track his order or not. To verify that the user is able to return his order or not. To stay up to date with the latest videos and test cases examples, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. Like this video and subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching.